If you guys remember that motorcycle I painted a few months back, that yeah, probably been that probably about a month ago. Well, this is the last piece of the puzzle. It is the big uh, touring pack bag. I need to tear it down and uh, see if it's got any damages in it and get it painted for them. It's the last piece and I want to get it done. I want to get it out of here. On top of all this other stuff I got going on, I just got, this is the third thing I got going on now with the bike, the van, this. I got to jack the Mustang up, pull the tires off of it. That's four actually. But uh, I ain't get done talking about it, so let's get it done. One of my LED lights went out in my garage. So if you guys are curious why the lighting is so terrible, well, that's your answer. So I ain't got no light. Let me get it fixed. Get this thing out of here. Pull the speaker out of here. Throw these back on. Strip this one off here. this cushion off here. Let's see what size this is. She's sliding on the other side. All right, I got it right here. Take these uh, little guys off here, latches. We'll pull this big cushion off of here next. Got lucky there. Roll underneath my car, came back out on the other side. I'm gonna drop everything.
should take this line off here. Biggest screwdriver on. There we go. That's all fair. Alright, I'm gonna try to remove this big uh, bar on top next. I just removed the key and I forgot to record it, sorry. The, the key lock. <laughs> Got off from it, go put it in the pile of parts. I'll go ahead and get this line off here. The screwdriver might be too, uh, oh, well, name the screwdriver, it's Torx. so it'll fall over and crack. Listen to the pile of parts. I want to work on getting this thing separated from each other now.
I see. It's got a little safety tab on here. Let's get it apart. I take it all away. All right. Okay, I guess I will. mostly completely apart. I'm have to leave those on because they're riveted in from the looks of it. Yeah, I can tape that up. Ain't no big deal there. And there's also this emblem I'm gonna try to get out of here if I can. Here in a second. Let's set this up right here. We got a lot of stuff to take off this one still. This whole back piece needs to come off here. Sure, the size is on this. See, there's one more uh, big bolt over there. This crescent wrench. Looks like a lot of these wires are just not going to nothing. It looks like nothing else is holding it in besides this silicone. I'm gonna have to cut the silicone loose and it should come out of here. Let's take these uh, little guys off here. Latches.
All right, guys, after about uh, two and a half hours, finally I got this thing off there, and it sucked, let me tell you. Now I just have to clean all the silicone off so I can reinstall it later on. We just gotta rip these out of this on here, and then it should be almost ready to come completely apart. All right, I'm gonna take her off this up. Uh, this, let me see if I can get English a little better for you. Probably not. Uh, as good as it's getting. I gotta get these bolts off in here to get this big metal base off from the inside. My ratchet. Got that out of there. Last thing we gotta pull out are these bottom lights. Go ahead and get these. this iron harness out of here and this is previously cut so you guys don't yell at me i didn't do it okay i think the last thing on this is going to be these little rubber stops i should just pull up out of here there's only one all right you guys this is a lot of work to get apart but i do have it apart those are going to stay in because they're riveted in. But uh, let's take it in the house and I'll take it to work with me tomorrow. piece of the puzzle
as you guys seen, this thing's painted, and we're going to go ahead and start throwing it back together, and I'll show you what it looks like after. Right, I think I finally had everything back on this. All we got now is to fill this back in. deal all right i spent some time i had to take that back out because i forgot to put these little latches in and then i put them in upside down so that's ready to go back in actually uh, i spent some time got this back together tonight speakers are in and the little padding's in i had to fix that crack down in here let me show you guys i fixed it on the other side too on this side I just poured panel bond over the top of the crack so it should be okay and I was pumping silicone in this thing to fill in the silicone, like how it was earlier, originally, I guess. The silicone, the inner tube that you push on that shoots the silicone out, it busted, so all the silicone was coming out the other end of the thing. Okay, it's just right here. Look at that. Made a big old mess. So that's nice. But all this is back together. I just got the lids at work. I painted it today. I'll have to wet sand above it. And, uh... I think the only, only thing it has is an emblem, that pad right there, and that bar. So it doesn't have much. Oh, and that lock cylinder. It don't have much going on for it. So hopefully we'll get that back together and get this thing out of my way. Got the bag back at home. Uh, or the lid, I guess, is what it is. We're going to go ahead and throw the cage or the, the rack back on top. We got the hinges we got to attach on uh, this side here. Some other things. There's a big padding that goes up here. So let's go ahead and get on it.
see if I can manhandle this thing back off with one hand. I must say probably not, I must scratch it. I finally got this big behemoth back together. It was a lot of work. It took me a lot of time. It was a lot more work than the other pieces. But it's done. And I'm happy with it. I know my cousin will be happy with it. Uh, it looks really good. So I matched the rest of his bike. And uh, that's going to be it for this. We're about to get started on some bike stuff. Oh, I'm going to cut this video and start on another video. Keep you guys updated with some content and stuff like that. So that is a wrap for this week's video. It's a wrap for this bike. This bike's finished for good, hopefully. Unless he scratches it or something, then I guess I'll be fixing that. But that's it for this bike. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to me. Stay tuned for more videos, you guys. I uh, appreciate the support. Appreciate it for the people that like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It means a lot to me. So thank you. Keep coming back to me. Uh, and that's it. Peace out, guys.